What are we up to? Number seven. Start that hypothalamus beat. Okay. Anders is going to give us the groovy hypothalamus beat. <laughs> of the hypothalamus is to link the nervous system to the endocrine system via the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus affects the endocrine system and governs emotional behavior such as anger and sexual activity. Several hypothalamic nuclei are sexually dimorphic, i.e. there are clear differences in both structure and function between males and females. The importance of these changes can be recognized by functional differences between males and females. For instance, males of most species prefer the odor and appearance of females over males, which is instrumental in stimulating male sexual behavior. If the sexually dimorphic nucleus is lesioned, this preference for females by males diminishes. In neonatal life, gonadal steroids influence the development of the neuroendocrine hypothalamus. For instance, they determine the ability of females to exhibit a normal reproductive cycle and of males and females to display appropriate reproductive behaviors in adult life. If a female rat is injected once with testosterone in the first few days of postnatal life, during the critical period of sex steroid influence, the hypothalamus is irreversibly masculinized. The adult rat will be incapable of generating an LH surge in response to estrogen, a characteristic of females, but will be capable of exhibiting male sexual behaviors, like mounting a sexually receptive female rat. In 2004 and 2006, two studies by Berglund, Lindstrom, and Savick used positron emission tomography, PET, to observe how the hypothalamus responds to smelling common odors. The scent of testosterone found in male sweat and the scent of estrogen found in female urine. These studies showed that the hypothalamus of heterosexual men and homosexual women both responded to estrogen. Also, the hypothalamus of homosexual men and heterosexual women both respond to testosterone. The hypothalamus of all four groups did not respond to the common odors which produced a normal olfactory response in the brain. Hypothalamus, hypothalamus, hypothalamus. 